All right. Okay. First video had some tough removal difficulties with a couple of things. One, if your tire is stuck to this rotor, because I'm doing the rear brakes on my 2000 Lincoln Navigator, everything else looks perfectly fine. Make sure you have your jack and jack stay in position. Okay. Now, the rotor was stuck, so you're going to want to, well, we're replacing this rotor anyway, but you're going to want to clean that, okay? So, now, let's get down to business. All right, the first thing you want to do, because this is kind of tight over here, people. Oh, man. You see this caliber? And I'm using my trusty tire iron, because I like to. No, it's not the recommended tool but you're gonna to wanna to compress that caliber. Hold on, I gotta put that down for a second. Okay, and now as you see, the caliber is compressed as far as it can. This can move freely. Now, you wanna get to Damn it! You want to get you a 10 millimeter ratchet? That's the PB blaster. Oh, I forgot one more thing: bungee cord. So now I'm gonna come over here to my trusty little bucket where I keep all my tools. You know, pretty simple job. Shouldn't take no more than about 30 minutes at the most. I'll use this one for today. The elastic one. You know they say elastic is always good protection. <laughs> okay. Now, I've recorded videos before on other sites and a lot of people ask me, why do I keep my PB blaster like that? Well, it's simple, because I like to press. And then you press this one. Get some brush penetrant in there. And it actually helps it shoot directly into the threads, believe it or not. What did I do with my ratchet? God damn it. Okay, two minutes in. I was behind me the whole time. As you can see, this is very, very close quarters. I gotta put some air in that tire. My next project though would be to replace these because you see how rotted and corroded these are. I'm going to replace both of these and I'm going to replace the air shock on the other side. So make sure you have your ratchet set. Wait, that's tight. I'll break that loose. I wish I had something to prop you guys up on. I'm just gonna sit you down there while I check out these bolts real fast. Now on this bottom bolt, you do have a bolt in the way, but I'm pretty sure you probably can maneuver your wrench to get right around it. And then the rest, you can just take off by hand, like this. You just unscrew it by hand and boom, there you go. I'll make sure I put some Loctite on these because I have had an accident before where the caliber slid off because I did not use Loctite. Ouch. Am I the only person that doesn't grease their brakes? Because I don't like to use grease for the simple fact of it is, it's not good, people. Grease is never good. It's well sprung for Christ's sake. Anyway, I forgot this is a family channel. Now, I'm going to pull the caliber out. Remove my brake pads. Where's my bungee cord? 
I'm gonna take the bungee cord and I'm gonna string this up out of the way. Here we go. Wrap it around there two times. Let's see, what can I string this along? Make sure I got this out of the way. And the other side can string to one of these bolts. Or no. Eh, I'll just put you in there with your brother. Anyway, now that the caliber is out of place, you know, the brake pads was pretty bad. This rotor, is, I'm gonna tell you, as old as this car is, it's not gonna come out easy. So what I like to do, and thank you Chris Fix for this one, I'm gonna tap around the drum to knock some of that rust off. Be careful not to hit your studs. you can actually see the rust starting to pull out. Okay. Whew. I had to take a break for a second. My arm was getting tired there. Damn, I think it's pretty rusty. Okay, I just seen it jump. Just annihilate it, pretty much. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get some more PB Blaster. I'm just gonna let that go down into the threads. Maybe that'll help just a tad bit of penetrating all of that rust. Okay. <sighs> Luckily, it's a good day outside. This boy don't want to come off. All right, I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. There she go. And you just remove your rotor. All right, now I got the new brake pads. The new rotor, brake clean. I got two of these because there's only a little bit left in one. So, get my lug nuts out the way. All right. And trust me guys, it's gonna be a lot more videos because this is the old truck. But she's my baby and all she needs is some TLC. Yo, I just noticed that. Ew, what is that? Please don't tell me that's a spider. Because I will run. Okay. And another thing I forgot, guys. My bristle brush. If y'all know what that is. My bristle brush. Bristle brush. Bristle brush. Hi. I'm pretty sure can't nobody say that properly. Bristle brush. <laughs> and just a little one too. You want both of these. Okay, so now guys, we're going to clean up this area. You know, brake shoes don't look too bad on this side. It's 
better than what I've seen on the other side. The other side, this one is like literally hanging off. <sighs> you want to spray this down. And I'm also going to brush this because of how stuck that rotor was. Get in there. All sides. Make sure you try to clean as much rust off as possible. Okay. I forgot one more thing. My shop towels. I know I got to keep getting up to get things, but luckily they're visible. And this is my 99 Ford Explorer. Pretty simple truck, but a lot of people hate those trucks for some odd reason. I don't know. Never really got too in depth with it. Okay. So, I'm just gonna put y'all down here. I hope y'all can see what I'm about to do. And no, I'm not about to wipe a booger on the truck. It's just kind of chilly out here in DC. Just wipe. Give this a quick wipe. And now you can install your new rotor, but also a lot of things a lot of people don't tell you. You have to clean the rotor before you install it. Because of factory and aftermarket, you know. Because this rotor, it actually has a film on it that can actually catch fire. And that's why some cars be smoking if you don't clean the rotor properly. So what you wanna do, take a brake clean, just spray it down. Looks like this thing is running a little low. Spray the back. I'm just gonna switch over to my other can just for time's sake. Okay, switch over to the other can. There you go. There you go. Bring it down, then you wanna take a shop towel. Where my blue towels at? I just had them. Oh crap. <laughs> oh. You wanna wipe the entire rotor down. And it's actually better to do this on concrete. Well, actually, it's better to do it on cardboard than concrete, but, you know, for the sake of time, just, just wipe this on down, both sides, wipe it down, and now you can reinstall your rotor to the hub. I'm not going to use any anti-seed. Wait a minute. I don't think that was properly positioned. There you go. You can install your rotor. And if you want, you can spray it down again. I always spray it twice. And sometimes, just for Christ's sake, I add some PB blaster to it and then spray it down a third time. Make sure it's completely clean. I don't know if this will help you guys because I mean most people they do know how to change brakes but there's a difference between doing something properly and doing it improperly. Okay so next I'm gonna move on to the brakes but I'm gonna spray this down one more time and wipe it down with another clean towel just to get the, that rust penetrant off. I make sure my rotors are spotless. Ooh, shiny. Okay, so now on to the installation of the brakes. First, you wanna get your hardware. I'm gonna take this. You want to measure where these exactly were 
Okay, I'm gonna start with the bottom one first. Cause this one's already loose. Okay, so you gonna wanna spray that down. Give it a nice neat mating surface. Grab your pig bristle brush. And go ahead and scrub that down. Now you want to take your new hardware and you want to install this in the same position it was. Okay, this one was sticking out further on the back, so. That's installed. Same thing for the top one. Pull it off. Spray it. And brush. Brush it. Just brush it. Brush it. Brush it. So I've basically in this video, I'm sorry this video took so long. Because brake jobs are actually pretty simple, but I'm just trying to walk you through each step. And I've showed you in this video how to remove a stuck rotor if need be. Because these things do get stuck. How to properly install the brakes. Now... Next step, you want to get a C-clamp or a pair of channel lock pliers to compress this piston fully. Give me one second, I'll be right back, and I'll show you that also. Okay, check, C-clamp, okay. So, what you want to do, and you want to be mindful because this is an old vehicle. Be mindful with your brake line. Okay, so what you want to do here, I'm trying to prop y'all up so y'all can see this. Maybe that'll work. No, I don't think so. Okay, anyway. You want to get the C-clamp, I'll show you, I'll come back in a minute. You want to get the C-clamp right about here and just tighten it down. You see this? You see how I have the C-clamp on there? Once the C-clamp is on there like that, you can just go ahead and start to tighten it down. And this one is almost pretty much fully compressed because of me using the tire iron. So, just a few turns, really. A few turns. I'm sorry, I'm doing this off of my phone, guys. So, it's gonna take a while. Plus, I'm doing it one-handed. A brake job should normally take no less than 30 minutes at the most just so you can properly install everything. Now, onto the brakes. You also wanna push these pins back down. And then you also, these are the new brake pads. This one goes into the piston. This one, wait, where's the other one? Uh, I thought Johnny was trying to run for me. Anyways, this is the other one. Now this one can be a little bit tricky because I did have a little bit of difficulty on installing this on the other side. But actually, this one went in a lot more easier. And then now, bottom side first, you want to install those hooks onto that hardware and then the rest is simple trigonometry you reassemble your tire you let the car down and that is a brake job for you thank you guys 
Y'all have a nice day. I hope this video helps.